Happy June! It's June 1st. When I post this, it'll be a few days after June. But it is time for me to make my monthly calendar. I took off the May, so it's fresh and clean. I love to have my month laid out. I have done this for several years. This whiteboard has gone through the ringer. I'm sure you can see some of the nicks on there. It's gone through many, many moves. You can also buy ones that are already pre-made, but I think it's just fun to be creative, do new colors, and just draw it out yourself. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today and showing you how I organize my month, have it all laid out, just so myself and other people living in the house, meaning Taylor, can stay on track with bills that are due, holidays that are coming up, birthdays, just everything for the month. And let's be honest, I really make this calendar for Taylor's sake because I got so tired of him asking me when things are due. Look at the calendar. I've instilled this in him. It took him a long time to get on board with the calendar and actually look at it. The placement of your board is very important. I'll get into that later because you want everybody to be aware of where it's at, easily viewable every single day. So let's get started drawing our monthly calendar. So on the first day of the month, I will clean off the board and I have this little eraser. I've had it so long, it's really just kind of gross. It does a somewhat good job, but dang it. <laughs> but it smears the colors around, as you can see. I will put Windex or some kind of cleaner and really rub it off of there. These are just scuff marks, like I said before. We got all of our markers set up over here. I have a couple magnets in case you like to hang up the bills so everybody can see them. I just write them down and I get bills through my, through my email because I was tired of getting all of the mail. Uh, but just some extra magnets, but whatever you want is really nice to have on the board. The first thing I like to do is write the name of the month at the top and I like to be creative and do something new each month. So to get some inspiration, I will Google search different June writings and just pick one that I like the best and just try to duplicate it. Nope, don't like that. Sometimes it'll take me a few tries to get it right. <laughs> oh boy, okay. All right, that's the best it's gonna get. Next step is to draw the layout of the actual calendar. So I will pull up my calendar on my phone to see how many lines I need horizontally, because you obviously need seven vertically. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Now this is the fun part. <laughs> you really just kind of have to guesstimate. And then to make sure they're even, I will make marks right below it so I can easily erase it if I need to. Yep, like that. Just space them out till you get it right. And same goes for the horizontal lines. You could totally use a ruler to make sure the lines are straight, but I think it's more of a challenge, so I just like to freehand it. And I will write the days at the top starting with Sunday. And then I will number them. And there are 30 days in June. Next thing I do is I go in and write my bills. And when they are due, today is the first, that means a rent which I paid that. So after we pay our bills, either Taylor and I will do a check mark to make sure that it was paid. Even though our gym is still closed, I still write it down just so we remember and keep that thought in our head of, okay, this would be taken out if it was due that day. So I still write it in. And then once I get all the bills on there, I will then go in for any personal things that we have, any birthdays. Taylor and I's anniversary is actually this month. It will be seven years, so this is a pretty important one. So I will write it big so he doesn't forget. 
<laughs> and then we got Father's Day. Archie's birthday will be this month as well. He will be turning six. And then once I have everything written down for my own personal calendar, I will go in to Google and type in whatever month it is, what the year. So June 2020 calendar with holidays. That's how I write it in. Then I Google image search and this is the one I like. Here's the top. So I scroll down till I see ones with holidays, but I use this one pretty much for every month from the when calendar. So the first today is actually Global Day of Parents. And this calendar always has so many fun holidays, so I just pick out my favorite ones and write them down. So the third, Global Running Day, National Egg Day, World Bicycle Day. Fourth is National Cheese Day. The fifth, National Donut Day. Very important. And it's also World Environment Day. Seventh, National Chocolate Chip Ice Cream Day. The 20th is also Summer Solstice, or in other words, when summer begins. 25th, National Handshake Day, even though you're not supposed to do that anymore. Okay, um, the 26th, take your dog to work day. 30th is International Asteroid Day. Now these are not the only holidays. I don't have room to write them all. So I just pick fun ones to put on here, interesting ones. And there you have it. There is my calendar. And then whatever color I'm gonna use to cross off the days, I will put one slant on there. I will put in this bottom corner. So I'll stick with blue, just to give you an example. Just cross off Sunday, and that's how I do it for every single day. I hang this baby right by the front door, and our kitchen area is over here. So it can be seen from down the hallway, when you're coming down the stairs, from the kitchen, all over. It is front and center. And that is where I hang it, in this house anyway. It changes each house that we're at. But this is the perfect place for it, in that spot. So anytime I hear, When's this girl do? When is this birthday? What are we doing this weekend? Look at the board. It will tell you. Because <laughs> of course you can put your calendar in your phone or write it in a little notepad or something. But this is big, out there, easily readable. So that's why I really love it and highly recommend it. And with kids, or multiple kids, if you have birthday parties, stuff for class, it can all be organized on the board. And they have all different sizes of boards. I don't even know where we got this one. You can find them used on Walmart, at a craft store, everywhere like that. Markers are pretty cheap too. And you can just make the board your own. That's the fun of it. So that's why I love the dry erase concept. You can do chalk, you could do And that's only the one I can think of that you can erase, but whatever, you get the point. Hopefully this will inspire you to make a fun board for yourself and see how it works with your family. So thank you for watching. Happy June. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. But wait. Before you go, I'll miss you so. So please subscribe to my channel and like this video.